Good morning, good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Alex Redshift 411, guys. Thanks for coming back to the channel. It's Monday, guys, and uh, new week for us. Hopefully, everybody out there had a great weekend, guys. Hopefully, everybody made a little bit of money and you guys went back home with a full bucket in your bag. Well, guys, today I wanted to talk to you guys. How do I make another 50 bucks on a daily basis? All right, 50 bucks on a daily basis times seven. It should be a good amount of money for you to increase your weekly sales. Okay, and it's very easy, guys, making another 50 bucks a day. You just have to focus, be on top of your game, and everybody can do it out there. And I'm gonna give you guys uh, two, three examples the way you guys can achieve another 50 bucks on a daily basis, okay? And hopefully, hopefully you execute these tips and you can try it this week and you guys will see that at the end of the week, you get that extra money when you guys cash out. If you guys cash out, you know, on Sunday or every day when you cash out at the end of the day. But number one tip guys for that, it will be be on top of your game, all right? Um, when I say be on top of your game, that means that you have to go out there and put your put your time in, all right? Lots of people think, uh, you know, just driving two, three hours a day, you guys will be able to increase those $50 on, on a daily basis. Um, I can tell you right now, it's, it's not gonna happen, okay? Um, you gotta, you guys gotta be realistic. Uh, that time, it's money, okay? So, the more time that you spend on the streets, the more money that you guys make on a daily basis. And for those uh, people that have been in the business for a while, you guys know what I'm talking about. If you guys are barely starting on the business, that means that the more time that you spend on the streets, picking up people, taking them from A to B, the more money you're gonna make on a daily basis. And just, that's the bottom line, and that's the way it works, all right? But, you guys have to put a little bit more effort into just, you know, picking up people from A to B. Um, if you work for Lyft, like myself, uh, it's very easy to make tips, okay? Because Lyft already um, had this system since they started regarding tipping. So most of the people that they ride with Lyft, uh, they they already know that, you know, the tip is there. It's number one thing for the drivers, okay? And if you treat everybody, everybody that comes in into your car, like if it was your family, like if it was your sister and your brother, I can warranty you every single trip that you take is gonna be a tip. All right, but remember what I'm saying. You guys got to put that effort into it, you know. Um, don't think that anybody that comes into your car is just going to be tipping just for the hell of it, all right. If uh, if you guys ever been in the restaurant business or if you guys, every time you guys go to a restaurant, you guys tip depending the way that you get served from the waiter, right. So it's the same thing here. Just look that as an example like if you're in the restaurant business, okay? The way that you treat people when they come in, that's the way they're gonna treat you, tipping, okay? So when you see that big tip, like for five bucks, seven bucks, you should, you should be, you know, very, very happy that you gotta achieve seven bucks for one person. Now, if you could do it for one person, just, Put in your mind that you could do it for every single person that, that walks in. I do about 26 trips to 30 trips on a daily basis, okay? And my goal is that every single person that walks in in the car is a tip, okay? But the only way that I, I, I could achieve that is for me just greeting that person 100%, making sure that, you know, the music that I'm playing is what they like, if uh, the temperature in the back is comfortable for them, okay, if it's not too cold, if it's not too hot, depending at the time that I'm picking those persons up, okay, 
and just making sure if, if they need extra stuff like you know do you need to charge your phone especially if you're coming uh, picking up these people from the airports you know uh, do you need to charge the you know your phone can I get you some water can I get you a juice okay it's just the way that you treat them and trust me when I offer this gatorades that I just show you and people looks at you like whoa you know nobody has offered me a gatorade before when I when, you know when I jump in a car hey that's the difference that I'm talking about okay be unique be different from everybody on the streets if you guys got a Costco if you guys got a Walmart this this um gatorades that I just show you they're uh the pack of uh of 30 they're only 20 bucks guys so you know i buy a pack for me and depending what day i'm driving depending where i'm driving at i always have them in the back okay and it's just it's very tipping how can i say it it's a very unique uh uh matter for a tip all right so you offer a Gatorade to somebody that is coming from the airport, you give them a choice of water or Gatorade, trust me, they're going to pick Gatorade, and that's an automatically tip at the end of the trip. But, you know, those those things right there is just a couple of examples, and if you go through the whole day like that, it's just, you got to have in your mind, tip, 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 you know? 20 trips, 2 bucks every trip, that's that's the 50 bucks that i'm talking about just put yourself every time that you walk out of your house okay i need to make another 50 bucks today okay if your goal is 200 bucks a day just say okay today i'm not going home without making 250 okay if your goal is 300 i'm not going home until i make 350 all right but remember you got to put effort into it you got to be on top of your game okay and I'm going to tell you one more example that lots of people are lacking, lacking out, all right, is having a schedule, all right, having a schedule for you, all right, just because, you know, we run, you know, we work the hours that we want or we go out, you know, whatever time we want, that's lacking right there. If you guys put your schedules Let's say I start at four in the morning every day, okay? So I gotta be up by three, okay? So my alarm goes out at three, at four in the morning, I'm already on the street. My first stop will be probably the gas station, okay? And my coffee, and then we hit it from there. And then I don't go back home until my goal is, is reached, okay? 26 trips, 30 trips, I got to make my amount that I need to go back home with. And it's just, you know, that's what, that's the way I work. And, but it's very important that you guys keep up your schedule. Okay. If you start at six in the morning, make sure that every day it's at six in the morning. If you start at eight o'clock in the morning, make sure that every day it's at eight o'clock. Don't, don't lack and say, oh, you know what? I'm just going to sleep another hour or oh, I'm going to sleep in for another hour and a half and then I keep going well that hour and a half that you say that you were going to sleep over multiply it times your market okay you should know your market you should know how busy the market is and that hour or an hour and a half that you slept in that's probably less money that you're going to take home that day all right so it's Monday guys let's start planning for the week uh, use this advice that I'm giving you 50 bucks on daily basis at the end of the week. Hopefully everybody tries it this week. Uh, it will work. Uh, just use the tips that I just gave you. And hopefully, hopefully everybody out there has a great day. And uh, we talk about it on Sunday. See if everybody reached those $50 for seven days. All right, guys. You guys take care of yourselves. Have a wonderful day out there. Thumbs up the video. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. Drop your comments. I'll see you guys on the next video.